Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday, everyone. The second day of the week, and we are ready with our second show of the week. My name is Rebecca Monks, and I'm going to be your host for this wonderful hour of crafty chat and lots of fun and tips, hints, and techniques to sort of inspire you and improve your skills. Okay, so are we ready for all the intros? We have got Emily on our producer station. Good morning. Good morning. And in our demonstration station, ready to be showing us all these tips and techniques is Anne-Marie. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm having a very good morning so far. Yeah. And um, we were talking today as well, it's that funny day, isn't it? Oh, two, two, no, 22, two, 22. Yeah. yeah, all the twos. It's that crazy two day. Oh, <laughs> there's something in the air. Definitely. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, maybe put the lottery on, who knows? Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, speaking of winning, shall we kick off with our Win It Weekly? Okay, so what a Win It Weekly prize we have got for you today and this week. So it is all these amazing, Ooh. I know, right? Every wow. week we just pull it out of the bag. It's amazing. So these are our Clockwork Emporium dies. So full of all that sort of like cog, mechanical sort of elements. Perfect for all your steampunk collections. Um, use them alone or with your paper craft kit. So you get the Metal Wing Butterfly one here, the Up and Away Hot Air Balloon, um, the like clockwork frame, perfect for your little book pages or anything that you want to do with that. And your cogs of time with the um, great big clock there. It's very fancy. You can oh, do it some is, isn't it? awesome things with that. Um, and again, matching sentiments. These are worth 49 96 So the best part of £50 worth of dies here really are going to be an absolute asset in your stash. So we are going to pick two winners on Friday. And if you would like to be in with the chance, um, we would like you to like, share, and comment on our video. Okay, so roughly what percentage <laughs> of people... Oh, my goodness. I know, <laughs> in the world can wiggle their ears. I'm like, just that's just my eyebrows. Um, I, I can't do it. Is it A, 35%, B, 8%, or C, 20%? Um, please let us know your answers, and we will announce that on Friday. Okay, perfect. So before we kick off with our show as well, uh, we did have a little post about an hour ago. We did. With some exciting news. Yeah. Um, we are teaming forces with a brand new channel called um, Hobby Maker. We are, you know, in the early stages, it's kind of just been finalized. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're very excited. Um, obviously, um, there's lots and lots of changes and we definitely um, want to keep you informed. Do um, keep your questions coming in and we have got some frequently asked questions as well. Yeah, I definitely. Mean, yeah. yeah. If you've got anything uh, you want to check out with us, let us know. We'll try and answer as many questions as we can throughout the show. But obviously on Facebook as well, we will be adding comments to all of the questions. I think the number one question that we're getting asked is, does this mean that we're not going to be on Crate and Craft yeah. anymore? And, and it does mean that we're not going to be there. Um, you know, like we have said, we've been with them now for 14 years and it's been incredible. We've had the best time. Um, but you know what? We just fancied a little bit of a change, a little bit of a new challenge, and um, Hobby Maker is it. We are yeah. very, very excited. I shall be there next Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. On launch day. Yeah, that's it. It's so exciting. Like you say, you've got loads of special memories with Creative yeah, Craft. Yeah, of course. And, but we're excited for this new chapter yeah. and this new journey. So let us know. Are you excited? Are you going to be tuning in to our new, the new channel? It's going to be amazing. Really, really exciting. So please do stay tuned. But um, yes, it is very, very early days, but we, we are very excited. Okay, so today is Technic Tuesday. We had an absolute blast doing this a fortnight ago for you um, guys. And I know that everyone was really inspired to get all their heat tool and their embossing powders out. So we thought we would bring you the same, but in our prism form. Mm. Woohoo! So we're gonna have a few techniques from Anne-Marie. She's really gonna be showing us how to get the best out of our prism mediums, because we know that sometimes they're a little bit, you know, there's a little bit more of a creative process with them. You know, you've got to think about a little bit more. So this is the perfect show if you want to sort of get more into that. And 
We've got improved multi buys, everyone. Woohoo! Woo we have got some discounts, some bargains. We cannot wait. So, if you are just starting out and you are wanting to invest in your mixed media journey and your sort of colouring and stamping, this is the perfect show for you guys. Um, so, what have we got first? We've got Prism Ink Pads first. Woohoo! Absolute classic. So, these just, I mean, these look incredible just in this box. Look at all those colours. And that is not even all of them. So, they are on an improved multi buy. Any five for the price of four so you are going to be getting one free um they're really reasonable as well how much are these emily i know they're very reasonable but i think i want to say they're um <laughs> yeah i thought so too yeah. 2.99 so super super cheap you can definitely pick up five of these really really reasonably we've got olive green apricot sorbet pink jelly bean there's just one open here actually so i'll show you this guy so they are just really, really nice, easy lid. They stack really easily as well. And then you open the pad and you get a really nice square, nice little juicy ink pad for you there. Perfect to pop on your stamps, um, on your sponges. You can make backgrounds. Like I say, even if you use straight on with a stamp, if you want to ink in color, that is absolutely fine. They are a dye based ink as well. Um, so they are perfect. They blend beautifully. So if you want to mix and match them, you certainly can do as well. So they are on an improved multi buy at five for four, two ninety nine each. Emily, you've written the price down. I just didn't even look, honestly. <laughs> Give me some coffee, people. Um, Prism watercolour pencils and the handbook bundle. So if you are just starting out on this journey, this handbook is amazing. So it has got, let's just have a very quick flick through. So it's got all your colour wheels and what goes really well together. So if you struggle with colour palettes, you'll definitely want this to hand. And it's got some really, really cool techniques in here. Um, so you can either watch this show back or once you've got this in your stash, you can refer to it absolutely whenever you like. Loads of hints and tips and tricks and everything you need to get started on there. And then in the back, there's some really awesome projects from the team that you can either um, copy or change up a little bit or just use the same techniques from. So it's the perfect partner for your watercolour pencils. You get 48 in here in a very nice, stylish little bag um, perfect for crafting on the go chucking in your craft trolleys or your toolboxes we just love them here don't they they're so much fun yeah you can just do so much with them as well yeah. you know not just the sort of a traditional watercolor penciling you can do loads with them absolutely yeah so uh, again i forgot to mention with them being our watercolor if you want to use them with your water and your brushes or anything like that you absolutely can do or you can just do solid colouring. They look amazing on craft card and black stamping card, um, ink me, any of those. Um, or if you are using water, we would recommend our premium watercolour card. Um, so they have been absolutely slashed down in price for you at $24.99. So if you are investing, this is the perfect, perfect time to do so. Very exciting. Um, Anne-Marie, are you ready to give us a little um, technique? Yeah, sort of. A little I'll technique just Tuesday. Put these away. I'll just a little bit of preparation Amazing. for later. Amazing. I'll just pop those away. Um, yeah, let's go with our ink pads first of all. Now, obviously they are water-based. Let me get out a nice little colour selection. If you don't have this storage yet for your ink pads, you need to get this oh, as well. Oh, you really do. It's just awesome, isn't it? It has um, six of these little boxes in and each one of these boxes will hold six of your ink pads. Yeah. Perfect. So you can have the whole set in there. It's all nice and neat and tidy, all stored away. So I've got a couple of different colour selections here. Yeah. Ooh. I have got um, some pinks and some purples, my faves. It's got to be done. Yeah. Um, and I've got some watercolour cards. So we're going to first start with like a little bit of a backgroundy type thing. Now, um, let me cut this in half and I'll show you a couple of different ways that we can create some pretty cool backgrounds. Yeah, that is that is definitely a really good. We love the blending tool and sponges oh, that we do here. Definitely, definitely. So let's get some of our purples. So I'm going to go with the mauve moment and the purple velvet. Okay. Because these are just Ooh, such a fabulous combo colours, together. Yeah. Um, and I am using the watercolor card here. You don't have to. You can use our ink me. Um, obviously, as the name suggests, it's perfect for inking. Yes. Um, but we're going to add quite a bit of water onto here. So this just helps with the water, you know, oh, the, yeah, the watercolor course. card, yeah. that, is, that is all. Um, but you can use your ink me, absolutely fine. It is a little bit whiter, oh, your ink me, uh, no, that's not ink me, let me get the right one. Um, it's a bit of a whiter color, 
so you can tell as well when you're using it which one's which. Okay, yeah. Okay, so just going in all over Ooh. with our mauve moment, first of all. Yeah, they go so nicely together. I mean, you could pick such a selection of different colours in here. Yeah, that's it. Our colour selection on these prism ink pads is so, so broad. We really <clears throat> have a colour for absolutely everything you're going to need. Um, and, and such a variety of colours, definitely. So then I'm going to go in with our purple here and just sort of not put that one everywhere, just sort of around, in and around. And yeah. then I'm going to take the black currant jam because this one's a little bit pinkier. Oh yeah, I love this one. It doesn't have a thing on, so I'm going to use this one. And then just bring that in oh. the centre here as well. And again, like you're not using like a particular fashion, not doing it in a particular kind of fashion. No just way. That ink just on there, just for covering. Ink on, random. Yes. That's how we like to go. Super easy. Um, so then, what we're going to do is we're going to um, just get a little bit of um, like kitchen paper, anything at all, just something that we can use to soak up a little bit of water. Yeah. And then with our water spray, um, if you spray really close, you're going to get water sort of t really close together. If you spray from a distance, you're going to get more of those droplets. Yeah on there. Ooh. Um, you can see the colours kind of like come to you? life already. And then I'm just going to go in and just add some massive droplets as well. And can you see what it's doing? It's almost like Ooh. bleaching out the colour. Yeah. It's so cool. It almost looks a bit like galaxy -esque. Yeah, doesn't it? Um, yeah, Donna McMillan says, love the ink pads, have the storage too. <laughs> Need to add more to my stash though. Um, definitely. So then just going in with that kitchen paper and then when we lift that up, it really pulls that colour out. Yep. Oh. So you can see, sorry, wrong way. It gives you that really sort of mottled, um, sort of watercoloured effect. And you can see all the little tiny droplets we've got in there. It is just like a galaxy, isn't it? It's fabulous. Yeah. Um, another way to actually make this look like a galaxy um, is if you, um, we'll, just, we'll do another little one. Let me cut a little Amazing. piece. And that is not difficult to make such a beautiful, like 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 you say, galaxy, celestial background. It yeah. would look great in navies and blacks. Definitely, definitely. So using those same colours this time, I'll just go in and show you this um, technique. Let's go, it's black current jam I've got on it at the moment, so I'll just go back in with that. Um, is to give it that more sort of galaxy look, is we pop this on first, yeah. up, like we just did. Get our mauve moment again. Just bring a little bit of that in. A little fingerprint there as well. Do you remember what I said last time about how we can avoid fingerprints? <laughs> is yeah. we hold it with something else, like a little bit of copy paper, something like that, a little bit of scrap paper, so that you can then not get fingerprints everywhere. So. Go in with all your colours, oh. so you can use any colours here. Obviously, I've stuck with the purples because they're out, but you can go with absolutely any colours. Then I'm going to grab... And to be fair, like purple, we've got a bit of a soft spot for purple here at Hunky Dory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to go with black okay. now, the Ooh. midnight black. And we're going to put this over the top. I mean, oh, okay. really? Wow. Yeah. Now, let me just see if I have do you, another, another little thing. Oh, there's one here, there's one here. Have you got one? Yes. I'll go with this one. I need to put things on all of my things. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so then the black, we're going to go over this now. So this will give it even more of Ooh. that sort of galaxy feel, but that colour will still come through. Like this, like Yeah, I'm this. quite excited to see that because obviously like it's it's um, super dark, that midnight it black. It is, isn't it? Let's put all the all the lids back on and I don't get water on them just in case. So again, just going in with our spritz. Amazing. Again, I'm going to just try and get some bigger droplets on there. Like this. And just add a little bit more colour, a little bit more water on there, and we'll lift that up again. 
so what it does oh, wow it adds a bit more of it you, you've got the colors sort of happening underneath this also looks really cool with a white glimmer mist on oh yeah yeah or so silver, silver would look nice yeah, yeah it amazing looks amazing yeah yeah it really does look like all those beautiful kind of like all that mottledness looks like stars or like you say galaxy it's really beautiful it and is such a different look by just changing one color yeah so if you want a much sort of cleaner softer look and um, you've got this here obviously you could do this and make it look like clouds with all the blues yes that leave would be a little pretty. bit of white space as well um but they are amazing uh, obviously as well they are water-based so you can 100% colour in anything with them as well. Yeah, definitely. So if we just grab one of our little stamps, because I don't think we, I just certainly don't do this enough. I always tend to just go to my pens for colouring in. Yeah. But you can, of course, use your inks for colouring as well. So we'll just use our Snickables um, stamps. We're going to use that lovely girl there with the um, lovely bunch of flowers. Oh, Linda Daffy says, love Technique Tuesday. Oh, it's good. Definitely one to tune in if you really want to just like kind of, like you say, just hone your skills a little bit. Try some things that you've not done for yeah, ages. Yes, definitely. Um, I know I'm still using some of the techniques from last fortnight. They were so good. And um, everyone it, loved it. It, it was, was such a great yeah, show. Yeah, it was fab. So many people got in touch and said, I've tried it. I've tried this. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, hey. it just... I know that's it and and it's just so easy like you know craft moves so fast as obviously we've kind of learned in the last week yeah. or two with you know lots of changes and not just that but like the trends change and things change and like we just forget about all these techniques that we just once upon a time absolutely loved and it's nice to come back to them definitely okay so we've got her there um and then we can just go in and with our ink so what i would do ordinarily is use one of our mats but obviously totally not prepared <laughs> uh, i haven't got my mats so i'm going to use a little bit of acetate and just popping your inks onto there creating your own like little palette oh yeah so you can't really see them because obviously we have mats purple you underneath. can see that sort of per really rich one there can you yeah okay um, uh, let's get our water brush but yeah, again, yeah, using a piece of acetate if you've not, you know, if you've not got a glass mat or one of yeah. our, um, like our silicone or white mat, you can, you can just definitely just use this. Oh, that's pretty. And then you can just add the colours in so you're instantly making them like watercolours. Yeah. So just add in uh, as much water as you need to. You can obviously not add as much if you want a, a darker sort of look. So if I pick up this purple now um let's do some purple flowers you can see i've not added any water to that just wow. what was actually on the brush so you can really change the look and create some really lovely watercolor effects yeah just using your ink pads yeah definitely and i think that d yeah that's a technique that i definitely use when i first started out because i just bought a couple of them for like 2.99 yeah. and you know a water brush and you absolutely you know this was before i had like any of the pens and the pencils which are amazing in their own right but this is such a great technique and so easy to do as well it is and it is you just don't need that much either do you you know you've just got your ink pads uh your water brush and, and you're you sort of good stop. to go and yeah, you can't exactly. start yeah just add a bit more colour into here. So I'm not going to colour the whole image. It was just to show you. How don't to... forget, you can watercolour with your um, ink pads. Couldn't think of the word then. Um, okay. And then, is what else can we do with ink pads? What else can we do? Should we move on to the watercolour pencils? We can do, yeah. We would, we would we? love that. Okay. Definitely. Right, let's put all these away then for now. Clear up some of the chaos. Oh, Gemma Wilson says, love this technique. It looks amazing. It is um, lovely. It really is. I, I, it's a technique, like I say, that I'd forgotten about. And it was definitely one that I used to use all the time when I was just starting out. Um, Myra Langdon says, and I have the water pen, so something else to try. Um, Jackie Bradley, my craft room is sorted out now. It's all hunky-dory. Oh, oh I bet that is heaven. <laughs> Okay, so your watercolour pencils, let me bring them in because they are just beautiful. Um, are, isn't it the most gorgeous thing you will ever own? So in here you've got all of your watercolour pencils, absolutely loads of colours, 48 in total. They obviously come in this beautiful wrap, so this here will flip over and will roll up. So it creates that fabulous storage, makes them really portable. You have a little zip here, which you can pop your water brushes in, um, 
you can pop, you know, maybe a pencil, a, a rubber, sharpness. sharpener, that sort of thing in there. Um, and it is just fabulous. So what we're going to do, first of all, is really basic. Let's go in with how we can sort of use these pencils. So we can obviously use them for just basic colouring. Yep. You know, you don't have to add any water. You can just do this. Um, or we can obviously then add a little bit of water and that will instantly oh, just yeah. melt that pencil away. It just creates such a lovely effect there. Soft, so soft for such a vibrant navy as well. It's really softened it out. It's Hasn't beautiful. It? Yeah, it is really lovely. You can use uh, sort of colours together. So we can obviously go with like a, a red. So we'll just bring that down there. Get an orange in there as well. And then we'll get a yellow as well at the bottom. So we'll create that really lovely sort of ombre look. Oh, nice. Um, and then always starting with your palest colour, so your yellow. Let's just get a little bit more water on there. Starting with your yellow and always take your lightest colour up because once you bring that orange and that red down. Yeah, it's going to bleed into that yellow, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is looking lovely. Again, such easy, like you could do a sunset background with this. Yeah. Definitely, you could do so much with it. Um, and, but there's more, there's so many things you can do with these. One of my favorite things that we do is um, add in your water onto here. So let's just get this wet. Give that a little spritz. Give that a little spritz. And then what we can do is we can, with our craft knife, we can like shave off some of the pigment. Oh yeah, I love this into technique. the water. I absolutely love doing this. So obviously, because we've got plenty of water on there at the moment, you can really see that sort of swimming around. Yeah. Um, the more, or, you know, you don't have to add any water at all. You could start with it dry and then sort of react it with the water once you've got all the, all your the shavings down. on there. Um, but it is fabulous. Can you see how we've instantly gone to purple already? Oh, and again, <laughs> we just can't help ourselves. Let's go in with something. Um, Nimi has just said, does the water brush come with the pencils? Um, they are something extra that you would have to buy. Um, they are, I want to say, are they $7.99 for a pack of three? Um, you do get three different ones and they've, they're really handy. They've they got are. a little screw lid where you can put the water in and you just give it a little squeeze to um, sort of activate that water. It's really, really handy. Um, really great tool. We absolutely love them. So what we've done here is because obviously we've got um, all of that water on there as well, I'm actually going to just pop this one over the top and I'm just going to like, try and get a second background out of this. So okay, I'm just going to yeah. try and scoop up some onto the, my other piece of cardstock. So you can see Ooh. how just sandwiching those two together has given us like two different backgrounds and you can obviously blot some of this water up if you've got too much. We can add more water to it, um, but it just gives you such a cool, like effect. It's almost like um, sorry, wrong way again. It's almost like mica powders. Yeah, it's in pretty, a way isn't it? how it's it works. Amazing. It is just fabulous, isn't it? And yeah. then again for colouring in, let's go back to our image because we can add a little bit, bit of colour on here as well. Um, so let's just do, let's just do her skin. Let's have a look at this colour and see. Maybe this one might be a little bit better. We'll just do her arms. So what you can do is just, you can go direct onto your image with yep. the, the colour like this, um, and then just sort of wash that out. Um, or you can scribble onto a bit of cardstock and then sort of pick it up. Yeah, of course. If you'd rather. But you can just really easily, we'll go and do a few of the leaves as well. We'll just do her little legs. Let me show you it onto a bit of card and then pick it up as well so you can see. So yeah, quite just a good a scribble, yeah, and then just pick that up. So again, you 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 can be a little bit thicker with it. You don't have to be as as watery if you don't want to be. You can you know really just do whatever you want with this, and then obviously you can go in and add a little bit extra wherever you might need the shading. Oh, that looks so great! But they're just brilliant to work with. Let's just do a couple of the leaves up at the top. Yeah, there's some really nice greens. If you do love your sort of flowers and foliage, yeah. the greens in here are just, I mean, they are perfect across all our ranges, but there's just some perfect, perfect colours for that. That really nice, like, sort of olivey, leafy green is just so natural. So then you can just go in, add that little bit of water. Oh, amazing. 
but that honestly the handbook will give you so many different ideas on how you can use sorry keep going oh that way. looks great how you can use your watercolor pencils and you could use your pencils to go over this so let's grab one of our purples and then we can add some extra shading into here if we want to you know you can go in with your pencils over any of other of your mediums once it's dry um let's grab we need like a really pale blue for these you can go in and add some extra shading some extra detail whatever oh that looks pretty you want to do into there yeah and again like you say because you've started with the ink pads on those flowers and then brought your pencils in so you can yep. definitely mix and match those oh, two for sure. mediums yeah for sure um definitely a uh, loads of people are saying they didn't even they forgot either they'd forgotten about that technique of coloring with your ink pads or um they just didn't know it at all so thank oh, you amazing Marie. this is good news so they're just adding some extra shading with our pencils in there Oh. Um, obviously you can do anything you do get a white in here as well um, so if you wanted to you could go in and add like some little highlights onto your flowers it's brilliant on our either craft card or black card our black yeah. card yeah it is fab look at this and even when it's wet as well it does give you you still get that amazing sort of it's it's just really know. funky, isn't it? Is. it? It's, it's so really different. Cool. Yeah, and they do work really well on the craft card as well. Let me just grab a little bit. Um, so you don't need to think, well, you know, the colours aren't going to be as good or as vibrant. They absolutely are. Look at, you know, we'll do that same thing absolutely. with our little sort it, of ombre. It just gives it a different finish because obviously, you know, it's a, it's going on to a different colour background. But yeah, absolutely. It um, just gives it a really nice different look. 100%, yeah, it's just, like you say, just something a little bit different. It completely changed the look of your card, um, you know, using craft card instead of, um, you know, you're just plain white card yeah. stock. But, yeah, all of your colours are still super vibrant on here as well. You can see it's Ooh, fab. Ooh, I love that. Yes, love, totally, love, love, love. Totally just giving some of those colours a really, really different look. Thank you, Anne-Marie. You're welcome. And we are going to be getting some more techniques out of Anne-Marie, so do not go anywhere. And we're just going to repeat the Win It Weekly question, just in case you guys missed it at the beginning. Um, so if you want to win our Moonstone Dyes Clockwork Emporium, please um, carry on liking and sharing our video and comment your answers. Roughly, what percentage of people in the world can wiggle their ears? 35%, 8% or 20%? Please let us know. And let us know if you can do that. I'd be yeah. just... Magnet, I just can't imagine it. Um, so yes, please let us know and please keep your comments coming in. Okay, so what have we got next in our improved multi buy prisms? Oh, this is a good one. We have got our brush markers. Ooh. Oh, I love these. Absolutely adore these. Um, we have got um, all all of these on offer, any two for £24. So, you know, then they're just amazing you will just love them again these are a water-based medium um so if you're coloring you would be stamping in versafine yeah um i had to check then i did know that um you would be or you can go straight onto your um, ink me just solid coloring uh, anything that you like they're perfect for brush lettering because they've got a really nice um soft sort of maneuverable tip uh, as you can see on the packaging you do get a um a sort of thick tip and then sort of a fine liner so that's perfect for little sketchy lines oh, any definitely. borders doodling if you're into journaling and things oh, like that yeah journaling definitely and brush lettering and so so easy to give it a go i kind of started out brush lettering and i just loved it so these are some of the colors that we've got um so this is the blue lagoon one i would have to say i use this one the most because you've got your black your gray um some really nice blues perfect for skies oceans anything like that and they're so so nice you can use your water brushes on here and your watercolor cardstock to give them that really soft um watercolored effect you can absolutely do that that way um, we have got our heavenly sunset um, so again all those sort of really practical neutral colors in there your browns and um, there's a really nice sort of pineapple um, one there for you you get all the color names and numbers on the back and a few more um, bit of more information on them um, but this price any two for 24 pounds um, and the berry burst with all those purples those pinks 
beautiful for like sort of um, floral arrangements, anything like that, they are wonderful. And then again, oh, saying that, I just said that about Blue Lagoon. I think I use this one. <laughs> Every single packet, I'm like, oh no, I use that I use one a lot. One I use I like this, this one, one a lot. Um, again, this one's perfect. This has got all your sort of browns, your greens. So perfect for like trees, nature, uh, anything sort of like outdoorsy or just your favorite colors in general. Um, any brush letter lettering that you do will look awesome. Um, I did my um, sister's wedding cards brush lettering with these. They were perfect. I went in with the, th uh, the thin one and then over with the thick one. I think I've actually got one out. In fact, I've got oh. a few out. So if you kind of want to see those, so you get the sort of thick kind of brush tip, which is perfect for um, either big solid blocks of colouring yeah. or brush lettering or anything kind of with that you need a thicker line. And then Anne-Marie will show you these anyway. And then you get your fine liner nibs there as well. So they are just going to be perfect for filling in any little details or doing things that require a little bit more of a steady, a steady little finish there for you. So we have got those for you at two for 24 pounds or you can shop our full collection of those for 34.98 so that is all four of these packets and your handbook as well and um, with all your tips tricks techniques everything in there for you amazing amazing really really handy to have these handbooks in your life to just refer back to all the time and then we have also brought in, Emily has brought in a selection of our Glimmer Mist. So we've done two launches of these. We did our big first original launch and then we did a second one, um, I want to say sort of like last summer, maybe early autumn. So there's a few um, of both collections here. So we've got Rust Red, Moss Green, um, Misty Rose. Ooh. And these are just wonderful. You can spritz them straight onto backgrounds. Lavender there for you. These are any three for £12. And we've got 24 colours to choose from. So such a massive variety. And you're not going to be stuck for colours with these. Don't they look great as well? Yeah, they're fab, aren't they? Oh, they're so fun as well. And you can just go straight onto there. The mica powders in there will give you the most vibrant, beautiful colour payoff. Lots of shimmer mm -hmm. and shine. And they're just really, really, really fun again you can be creating those galaxy backgrounds those sort of sunset scenes spraying onto a glass mat and picking up with your brushes anything you want um but the queen of technique tuesday will be showing us exactly what to do with these um and marie would you like to show us some techniques yes shall we start with our brush markers since oh, we looked at yes. those first we did so again obviously we can use them for sort of regular coloring in um you can apply the color down and where have i got my water brush um you can just add your water to that yeah. again and, and create that sort of watercolour look. Um, or you can scribble onto a little bit of acetate and pick that colour up as well. So again, this one, you're a little bit more in control of how much colour you're putting on. Um, this one, not so much, but it depends on what you prefer to do and what you like to use. So you can still do the same sort of things with them. Um, what we're going to do as well is I'm just going to show you again how we can use them for sort of backgrounds. Okay. Um, so I'm going to grab a few different colours. I'm going to put the purple down and I'm going to go with some blues and greens. Do Wonderful. something a little bit different. <laughs> so from the sort of forest walk and the blue lagoon selection. Yeah. Yeah. Just amazing. A few sort of let's just get let's just get one of these really deep colours in. Um, so. All we're going to do, again, is just have a little bit of scribble. It sounds like you've got a little mouse. Yeah, just a little your... bit of a squeak. Yeah, but it is um, it is brill. So just try not to get them to touch. Just try to keep little squiggles away from each other um, there. And we'll just do that one there. And we'll just go around, just adding a few more little ones in. Let's get that lighter one down over here. Okay, and then again, we need our water. So we're going to spritz this. This is a piece of acetate. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I yeah. thought I'd better. So just spritz that, make sure it's nice and sort of soaked there. And then what we'll do is, I was going to see whether we should cut that in half, but we'll go for it. Um, we're going to bring in that watercolour card and then just pick up all of that fabulous colour. Oh, and look at that gorgeous sort of effect. Again, we can sort of scoop some of this up if we don't want this here. We can leave it to dry naturally. We can dry it with a heat tool, anything at all that you want to do um, with that there. We've got loads on here still though, so I'm going to get another little bit of card. It's awesome. It almost looks like tie-dye. It's fab, isn't it? So fun. It is so cool. I absolutely love making backgrounds. I could spend my whole days just making backgrounds. Uh, yeah. 
Just backgrounds. I'll just sit here making the backgrounds. <laughs> Absolutely. So again, we'll just pick that up. Obviously, nowhere near as vibrant because we've got most of the colour that first time round. But just going back in, picking up any yeah. colour that's around because there's still some on the mat that's on the acetate that's not coming up. Yeah, that's it. Don't wipe it away. Make a softer <clears throat> background. Use your second piece of card. Yeah, yeah the look difference. at the difference that you get. It's mad, isn't it? So this one is completely different. Um, and then, of course, like you said, we can use these for um, our brush lettering. Um, let's do it on here. Oh, I'm quite excited for it. You are a very, very good brush letterer, uh, Anne-Marie. I, I feel like you put a little bit of pressure oh, maybe on Maybe I should have said that. Maybe I should have said that after. <laughs> um, you know who is excellent at brush lettering in our office? Who? The other Rebecca. Really? Oh my goodness, she's incredible. She's kept that very yeah, quiet. Yeah. Is, is there some brush lettering in the handbook? I think she did all the brush lettering in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's I'll find, absolutely amazing. I'll find some whilst you're um, showing um, us So those. if you're not confident, you could go in with a fine liner and then add your colour to it. So what we could do is like, oh, I'll just give that a little bit of a vibe. It's got something, something funky on there. So my, oh, you're not working. That's why you're a little bit funky. Let's try you. No, we're not doing purple. Step away from the purple. We just we just can't help <laughs> ourselves, guys. Sorry. So my go-to word is always hello. Oh yeah. Because I just think it's a nice, easy word. You get loads of nice loops in there. Yeah, there's a nice mixture between the tall letters and the short yeah. ones. Yeah. So then what you can do is your downstrokes are always thicker. So you could go in with your fine liner and just add a, a, a second sort of line on your downstrokes if you want to. If you're not sure, just makes it a little bit easier. So you can go through and, and do that. Um, obviously with the brush, what you'll find is, um, again, when you're doing your upstrokes, you're lighter, your downstrokes are heavy, and you'll yep. get that natural sort of pressure from the brush. Um, so then obviously you go up, down, up, down, up, down, nice and easy. Ooh, bit wibbly there. Could always go back and fix that. Oh, that looks amazing. So you can just go in, fix any little areas that aren't quite right. Obviously, you have that fine liner that, you know, you can fix any little bits and pieces if you need to. Uh, what we can do is go in with like a lighter colour and we can add some extra sort of shadows on here if we want to. So on all your downstrokes. Oh, yeah. Just add a little bit of extra on here, always on the outside edge. Just making sure you're doing it the same on all of them again and even though you've just inked that onto like just that kind of spare piece of cardstock um you could definitely you could cut that off like cut it trim it down and that would just be your card there yeah definitely instantly yeah absolutely you can do so much with them obviously because you've got that fabulous sort of nib you can do a lot with the shape as well yes. so you can turn this around and create like little flowers so just keep spinning that around you can do to like that to create little hearts yeah that's a cute technique as well but then obviously you can do two that way to create little butterflies as well um, and then you can go in with your fine liner and just add the little antennae and some little little trails little trails and um, they're just such a fabulous pen to add to your stash because they are so useful they're so useful um, obviously just general writing you know they've got that lovely fine nib so if you're maybe um, you're into your bullet journaling and things like that, Definitely. then these are ideal because you're getting all of those incredible colours. Yeah. Um, they're water based, so they're not you know they're not solvent based or anything like that. Um, they're just incredible. They really are. And like you say, if you've done that, say you've done that as your background and your card, you could then write your card with the same pen. Yeah. Would give it a really professional yeah, follow finish. It all through. Yeah, super definitely. super polished because you can just write with them as normal pens. Um, which I often do because I have more of those than Byron. Yeah. So, you know, um, crafters little tips and tricks there for you. Um, so, yeah, that is amazing. So our brush markers and our Glimmer Mist are both on Improved multi buys. so definitely get those into your basket. If you haven't tried them before, again, there's no rules. Just get your scraps out, get mm -hmm. your pieces of paper and just have a play. And then, you know, you don't need to go in with the pressure of, I must make a card no, with these. No, definitely not. Start 
you know, hone in your techniques and then build up into a card. Like I say, that hello for the Amarie just did, I would so snip that off and just put that straight onto a card. It was so nice. Um, brilliant, okay. So we asked you guys at home, we don't know if you sneakily noticed this, at the weekend we asked you some of your top tips um, for this Technique Tuesday. Oh. And I know, and we scooped them up and they gave us a definite little smile, a little giggle uh, here in the studio. So we're gonna read some of these crafty hacks out. Um, so there's some useful ones, all, all really, really fun, useful tips here. Um, so you're crafting hacks from at home. So Ruth Horton, label everything so it's easier for you to find things. Boxes help. Uh, I use my Western boxes for my storage and that's been a big help. And again, you saw Anne-Marie with her um, ink pad caddy and all her little um, storage boxes that fit all those ink pens in. Crafting, organising is so useful. It's so much fun as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> so satisfying. Um, Emily Cheatham says, sort by category. So put all okay. your adhesives together, put all your die cut sheets yeah. together, all your Christmas. Uh, yeah, that I have a separate sense. Christmas yeah, you need organizer. To, you? Yeah, um, and put all your tools together. So definitely organizing by category is super helpful. Oh, Marion Burgess, make a list of everything and where it is on your computer. It helps most of the time until you have a move around and forget to update them. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Marion. Uh, Vicky Rutter says, have a place for everything out on display or in labelled boxes. Anne-Marie, do you have a label maker? Uh, I do, yeah. Oh, so, so useful. Um, get your label makers out or or make your really, f make it into a craft, like make your own yeah. labels. Super fun. Um, Georgina Pitt says, I store my stamps in a very large clear box. I've stamped each one on A4 sheets so I oh, know what stamps clever. I have. We always do that for our boards. As you will notice with our stamp shows, we always try and stamp them on board so you can see yeah. what they look like stamped. So doing that technique at home. That's really clever, yeah. Yeah, super clever. And again, for your um, pens and pencils, we always recommend doing swatches on yeah, sheets of Yeah, 100%, before. yeah. We've um, got super. swatches on the website for all of our different mediums. We so. certainly do, yeah, absolutely. Um, Hannah Horn, um, I would say put everything away again after you've played with it. Not that I do that myself. No, I never put anything away. No. It's so hard. Oh, but you do at work though. Your desk is pristine. Thank you. At the Thank end of every you. day, your desk is like, I look over and I'm like, oh, it's yeah. an absolute dive. And Becca's looks incredible. And I've not even crafted at my desk and it looks an absolute mess. <laughs> Look, we work next to each other. And yeah, I, yeah, your, yours does give me like the heebie jeebies. Oh, but I'm it like, does. oh my goodness. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, Julie Stringer, get the husband to move out so you can have the rest of the house. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a good plan. I'm sure you would miss him though. <laughs> um, Tracy Hurst, get a house extension. Expensive, but very worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Catherine Williams, close the door, absolutely. Yeah, that's good. If you've got a room where you can just shut the door on it, that does help, doesn't it? It really does. It absolutely does. Yeah, if you are lucky enough to have your own dedicated craft room that you can close the door, please let us know. Um, yeah, I'm very, very fortunate. Um, it does help that it's my job, but yeah, I have a dedicated craft room and I would not be without it. Okay, so um, let's have a look at our final part of the show. Ooh, ooh, we love these here. These are our prism craft markers oh let me get oh they're falling over mm -hmm. these are our craft markers so we've brought you all our water-based mediums there um and these are our alcohol um based mediums so they are our pens here and they are absolutely wonderful we use them every time we do a stamp launch they are incredible Again, they just blend beautifully. Um, you get your chisel tip and you get a finer sort of colouring tip. Not as fine as the brush markers. Um, you're probably going to be using your sort of um, finer tip more often than your thicker one. It's a very thick chisel. I'll try and find some that are open for you. And we have got these in so many different colours. They are on three for two, which is an Ooh. incredible offer. Super easy to stock up for you. So, you know, buying three, getting one for free, what could be better? Um, so we've got our browns here. And again, you've got your colour wheel on the front and all the information on the back. Um, so Prism Craft Markers are alcohol-based, double-ended, and um, effortlessly blended together using paper craft, scrapbooking, rubber stamping. They are permanent, so they can also be used on acetate, glass, ceramics, wood, metal, and many more surfaces. So if you do love to do your sort of 3D projects around the home, yeah. these are perfect because they're permanent. So we've got browns here, we've got yellows, uh, we've got purples, our absolute fave. 
And we've got some really unusual mixes as well here. We've got the darks here um, with all those stunning colours um, for you. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, we've got our greens, super handy. I must use these every time we do anything with, um, like, like I say, leaves, trees, animals. They're so handy. And then we've got some really nice sort of neutral um, ones as well. These are the cool greys and our sort of turquoises. We do have a neutrals. Look at all these, we're still going. You're not going to be struggling <laughs> for colours. Um, pinks, our pastels, and this one comes with a colourless blender, um, which is just absolutely magical. Um, really, really easy to, if you um, have a little bit of a boo-boo with your blending yeah. or just don't quite like a look, you can go over with that effortlessly. It's amazing. Um, we've got our warm greys. Um, these are our neutrals. Again, super handy for like... Um, skin tones, eye colours, hair colours, so, so nice, those ones. Um, our reds there, um, our blues, and finally our brights. These ones are super, super fun. Um, really, really nice, funky colours in there for you. Um, I think, actually, this one is open, so I will show you kind of what they look like. So, yes, as you can see, they're double-ended, uh, and they've got the colour, and um, they've got which one's which, so the thick end and the thin end on there. So as you can see, this is our really thick sort of chisel-y end there for you. Perfect for doing those like sort of chunky stripes, borders, strips, anything, or just getting huge coverage with your coloring. And then they have this sort of finer tip end there for you as well. So that's perfect for sort of going in, round the lines, adding teeny tiny bits of color um, and you know blending together for you. Um, so they are just wonderful and any three for two. So again, if you are thinking, oh, they're quite an investment, these are a really good time to buy them or just stock up. If you've already kind of got half of them, maybe now's a great time to kind of get the other half. We love them. Um, and Marie, are you ready to show us a few I more techniques? I am, I am, I am, I am. So I'm going to, um, I've just made a start on colouring in this <gasps> oh. image just so that we didn't spend all morning colouring it because it is quite detailed. Um, but I, would show, I thought I'd show you on the welly bobs because there it's quite a nice open space. We'll show you how well we can use these markers and we can blend with them. So I have taken two different colours. I've taken the 451 and the 463. Now you can colour with these just like pens, like normal sort of felt tip pens. You don't have to do any of the blending. You don't have to do anything fancy. You can just sort of add colour. Um, let me see if I can find. Yeah, solid block colouring. They work great because they're so vibrant. Oh, definitely. Where's, um, our, where's our girl gone? She's here. Um, so this is on watercolour card, so it's not going to quite be right here either. But we can um, just colour. So I can just go in and add uh, her little dots on here. Um, obviously, I haven't stamp this in the correct ink pad so because they are solvent based you need a water based ink pad if you will so that opposites attract when it comes yeah. to your pens so I always use a memento when I'm using the alcohol markers yeah um but you can sort of mix and match it's only when really if you go in and do loads of heavy coloring and sort of blending so let me just do it on here so you can see what happens to the ink pad uh, to the actual ink on there so can you see it's sort of bleeding yeah. and it's gone a bit messy. Yeah, it's giving it that sort of halo. Yeah, so that is what will happen if you use the wrong ink pad. So obviously don't do too much with them. Th those little dots on the dress were absolutely fine. Um, so use your Memento ink pad and use your Ink Me cardstock. So that is, again, is watercolour. It soaks up so much of the ink. Oh, yeah. And we just, it's just not necessary. Yeah. So we need to use our Ink Me. So it sort of sits on the surface a little bit more and makes it more blendable as well. So I'm going to use uh, two different colours. I'm going to use purples. I don't know why I've got the blues, because we're doing purples. Um, I told you the wrong colours completely. 484 and 559 are the okay, two that okay. we're using. Um, and I'm going to go in, first of all, with my... Let me just show you the colours down here. So that's our 484, and this one is the darker one. Let's just get our chisel so we can do a nice chunk. Is the um, 559 there. And you can blend these really easily just by sort of taking your lighter one and blending in that line there so you can get a sort of seamless sort of look. Oh, yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do the main part of the welly just in one colour so you can see how easy it is to sort of just use one colour and shade with that one colour if you want to as well. Oh, yeah. Mine is going a little bit dry. I'm wondering if I can uh, steal 
Which the one? The 484, please. Oh, is it in the purples pack? Yeah. 484, yes it is. Yes. Let's get a new juicy one. Let's get a new one. Because oh. mine is a little bit weary. And Marie's having a treat today with some I brand am. new pens. I am, there but you do you go. know what? I've had these pens yeah. since they were the very first launch. These are my very first set of Ooh. pens. They have had oh, so much use. Looked after them then. And oh, this one's yeah, a like you bit say, it's a, um, a little bit pinker. Lots of people have some very fun um, craft rooms at home. Very, very lucky people. Um, Kirsty Joanna, I have a craft room. It is always the tidiest room in the house, probably because my partner doesn't go there. Yep. 100% yeah, Mr Monks is banned from our craft room, unless it's to bring me a cup of tea. Um, Donna McMillan, as the saying goes, place for everything and everything in its place, if only after a crafty session, ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> um, Myra Langdon, I have the craft alley, oh that Ooh, sounds that cool. that sounds good. Um, this is a lean-to along the side of the house and it was the main reason why we bought the house, so I can have it for my crafting. Oh I love that. Could you imagine buying a house specially for crafting? That's that would ace. be amazing. I absolutely love it. Okay, let me just check the colour of this one as well. So these are ever so slightly different colours than my my one. I think mine was dried out that much. It was completely different shade. Um, so then I'm going to then go in now with our 559 on our welly bubble. So using the fine... These look bit so here. great. I'm so glad you've decided to um, demo these techniques on our brand new Snippable stamps oh, as well. I know, the stamps are gorgeous, aren't they? They really are so perfect for spring. Like They're definitely making me feel ready for the end of winter. And yeah. We were I, saying this morning, aren't we? We are so over it. We really are. We really are, guys. Oh my goodness. We're so ready for spring. Um, and these are just, these are just perfect to get you in the mood for that. 100%, yeah. So just add in loads more colour down the sides there um, and then it's tricky with this because we've got the polka dots in the middle so what you don't want to do is colour over them if you can help it but we do have a little trick so that we can um, just tidy it up tidy it up yeah thank you I'm concentrating and could not use my words it's quite it's quite difficult to chat and colour isn't it it's, <laughs> It's fine. Just sort of take over, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just get lost in colouring. It's again, if you um yeah, if you want anything that's just so relaxing and it's just to pass a bit of time on, on, on a Sunday afternoon in the house or these horrible rainy days, colouring is so therapeutic. Yeah, it really is. Just nothing else just passes the time just quite like colouring. It's so nice. So what we can do then is go in with our colourless blender. So it isn't what you think it is. So it isn't going to help blend your pens. What it does is, let me get a really dark colour to show you this. When you have your ink down, what this will do, let's get the chisel tip of this one, is it almost bleaches the colour out. Yeah. So just... what it will do is it pushes all that colour away. So rather than giving you that um, blended finish that the name sort of suggests, you don't get that. But you can do some really cool um, backgrounds as well with this. Obviously, we can do like little polka dots. The longer you leave the pen on, yeah, the, the more the ink it will lift. more ink yeah. it will lift, and you obviously you can go back in um, and dab this around as well. So um, what we're going to do is sort of colour those polka dots in and push that ink away Ooh. back into the design. So again, if you've gone sort of out the lines a little bit, so here I've just gone out a little bit, push the ink back in. So don't sort of just colour it around in a circle, push it back in towards the image. Um, same with your polka dot. So going in a circle, but pushing that ink out. Same down there as well. Again, not a major sort of colour over there. A little bit there. And just go back into that one. Just make sure that colour's sort of pushed out into the, the design and then I'll just lift this up so you can see a little bit better where, you know, those polka dots oh, are yeah, almost cool. completely white again now, um, which is just fab, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but it is fantastic for just adding sort of different effects. Um, I'm yeah. just going to go over these welly bobs again. So nice for sort of shading and, and blending together. They really do look so, they just look stunning. 
they're just they're so good to use um i'm going to just stamp you a little something else so that we can show you let's find a nice what you want with these pens is like a nice open design you don't want anything that's too tiny because they're not um great for sort of super detail you know you've got that fine tip you do want something that's a little bit um more of an open design so let's just quickly stamp this little flower yeah it just really gives you that room like you say to push those colors around blend get all those lines in which you like you say you can really get from big open sort of stamps definitely um, and have a look uh, can you just pass me the handbook do we have the handbook for this the craft here? markers yeah. one we yeah. certainly do there it is second, just yeah. to show you in here what it will do is will give you colors that work together so like for the the skin tones and the hair tones they are all listed here so you can see which colors sort of blend nicely together um so let's go with a couple of colors out of here so we can see how they look so we need the four eight three because uh, we're going to go with the pink obviously obviously uh four nine five and then we need four nine two which is uh, really sort of vibrant yes. in there uh, so not only are these on three for two emily thank you for just putting that price up there i had forgotten to say if you want all 14 and the craft markers handbook that amory is using right now to get these colors together um that is 69.93 um, which is such an amazing price. They're worth 149.85, wow. which obviously is a huge investment. You know, the best part of 150 pounds, and we have brought that down to you for under 70 pounds. So, absolutely amazing and well, well worth the investment. Like I say, Anne Marie has still got her first set from the launch, um, so you won't regret, you know, no. splurging and splashing out because it's to you'll you'll just have them for forever. Like they they really do last so so long. Okay, so then we're just going to take three of our pinks. So I've just gone round the outside edges with my palest pink. And then I've gone in with the second colour. I mean, they blend so well together Don't they? Anyway. Beautifully. And then just add a little bit of the darker shade in the centre. And then to blend each one, so to blend that dark one in, you go to the middle one to sort of blend that back out. And then to blend the middle one in, you go back to your lighter one if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that's exactly that's exactly what I do as well, yeah. Go in with the light, then add your shading on the dark and then switch back to the light to yeah, blend. Yeah, to blend it all Such out. Such a great technique. <clears throat> so you'll see, if I lift that up now, you get that really beautiful sort of oh, yeah. blended effect. The center's like darker like you'd expect on a flower, but obviously you can switch that around and do it with anything at all. Um, but the handbook does give you those beautiful color combos. Um, in here look it shows you all the different things you can do with that blender it's fab um, yeah and, and like I say having those like you say oh that's just beautiful isn't it with all those yeah. blends so I'm just showing you how you can shade with three different markers if you want to but then we do have I think we just have like yeah one colour blending as well where you just keep adding that, that colour yeah. on top um, there's so many different things you can do I mean hydrangeas I know we've had one recently yes in, the botanical beauties yes. They are perfect for colouring oh, in yeah. because they're so easy to do. Just go over the complete image with your um, the chisel, chisel tip. and then just go in with the detail bits and just add little centres in and things like that. But look how dimensional they look. Do, I mean, and they it's look, just a stamp. They look almost <laughs> photographic. It's awesome, isn't they're it? They're that good. Yeah, yeah. It is fab. You need, 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 need in your life. Yes, let us know if you are going to treat yourself to anything on our Technique Tuesday. We have absolutely loved having your company. Again, um, we do know there are lots and lots of questions about our um, new venture with Hobby Maker, and they're going to be available on the main questions well, like what channels are they going to be on? They're going to be on um, Freeview Sky at the moment. Yeah. So if you don't have either Freeview or Sky, you can catch all those channels online. They are going to be on YouTube, they're yeah. going to be on their website. We're still going to be with you here at uh, at Hunky Dory HQ, five days a week, that's not going to change at all. Um, so I just wanted to just very quickly mention that at the end of our show, because that was the majority of our questions. What channel are you on? <laughs> I think it's off the top of my head. I think it's Freeview 73 mm -hmm. and Sky 670. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. The top of my I head. know it's definitely Freeview and Sky, and like yeah. I say, if you don't have those, catch us, um, catch them, Hobby Maker, on the internet, on YouTube or their website. Um, but we just wanted to get that out for you guys. Um, so, next up on HDTV, oh, it's myself and the lovely cat for a new Ooh. live launch. It's going to be super Oh my gosh, it's going to be, you are going to need your sunnies tomorrow. We, yeah, we really are. We're waiting for them. They are coming in the building as we speak. We cannot wait to get crafting with them and prep for tomorrow's show so we will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m have a lovely rest of your day guys thank you